everyone. My name is Karthik Narane and I am legal intern in Lexus Sun Company. Today, I am going to discuss the latest Supreme Court judgment which was made in uh, 2020, August 11, and that was uh, about the right of women in her joint family property. So, first we have to understand what is Hindu Succession Act 1956. So, this act extends only to Hindus and this act is applicable when someone died in the state. So when someone died in the state in the sense that if someone died without making any will before his death that how his property should be devolved after his death. So at that time the Hindu Succession Act is applicable but if someone has already made the will and already explained the conditions about how his property should be transferred uh, among his heirs, then at that time the Indian Suc Succession Act is applicable. But if uh, will is not there the Hindu Succession Act is applicable and the Hindu Succession, Succession Act 1956 follows the Mithakshara school of law. So that means there are co-personists and members. So the main demerit of the Hindu Succession Act 1956 was that the only male members were allowed to be co-person of that family property. So co-personists are someone who has birthright in their family property as soon as they were born. So uh, here the son has right that prop son has right as soon as the son is born he acquires the right in family property but in case of daughter she doesn't have that right she has she was only member of her family property that means she can't ask for partition but she can ask for maintenance if she need any maintenance so only for that he uh, she can ask uh, for co personage they have right for right of the property as soon as they were born only male, male members were allowed to be co personage uh, up to three degree it can be son can be co-personal son son can be co-personal co and son 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 can be co-personal but the daughter is not allowed to be co-personal they can ask for partition they can sell the property and they have complete right in their family property as soon as they were born so that is limitation of the hindu succession act 1957 the doctor is excluded from the category of co-personals but after 2005 amendment the daughter are all, the daughter is also included uh, in the category of co person but subject to following condition like daughter can be co person uh, but two conditions need to be satisfied daughter should be alive on the date of 2005 amendment and father also should be alive at the time of 2005 amendment has passed <coughs> so these are two conditions which should be there for uh, for making daughter co person <coughs> from 2005 to 2020 so at that time the 2000 uh, so 2005 there was an amendment so according to that amendment the daughter can also be co-personer in family property but uh, two conditions need to be satisfied because at the time of this 2005 amendment the daughter should have born for getting that right and also the father also should be alive at that time so if these two conditions are satisfied, then the daughter, we can say that daughters are also co personer They are also having co personers right and they can ask for partition in their family property or sell their property. Same right uh, as the uh, as, as male members in their family. But after 2020, in landmark judgment of Vineet Sharma versus Frake Sharma, the Supreme Court adjudicated the following things. That uh, no matter whether her father is alive at 2005 or um, when no matter whether her father is alive after 2005 amendment or not or no matter whether she is alive at 2005 amendment or not daughter is having the same right as per the main members of her family daughters are also co personists they can also ask for uh, the uh, you know the same right which the main members are having so that was the judgment of uh, you know that Vinay Sharma, Raghav Sharma case that was the landmark judgment. So in the la landmark judgment, the daughters also became the co-persons of the family. Uh, so that is that is of course a you know good decision from uh, or good judgment from Supreme Court of India because that had been that was a discrimination towards the women when uh, men can be co-personer or when son can be a co-personer in their family property and he is getting some right in family property as soon as he is born women is exempt from that category so that was a discrimination towards women and was that was not uh, fair also and after the 2005 amendment also there were two conditions even though this um, women made co-personer but there were two conditions that you know the women should be alive uh, after 2005 and if uh, her father also should be alive after 2005 amendment then only the women can uh, be co-person of family property for instance the father has died 
2004 or 2003 or 2002 the women won't be co-personal the daughter can't be co-personal or uh, you know that the uh, daughter has died before 2005 uh, so he she is also not having that co-personal right in her father property so after 2020 it is made clear that the women is having every right she is also a co-personal in hindu undivided joint family property uh, and he she is also a co-personal so it is made clear now whatever the right the male members are having in uh, a hindu joint family property hindu undivided family property every right is having for daughter also so uh, that was a good move and uh, that was a good judgment from supreme court of india uh so that's all about the case thank you have a nice day